Shapiro has been the attorney general for six years. We see the catastrophe that he's presided over as our senior law enforcement official. We have record crime robberies, 1,000 plus carjackings, 4,400 robberies just in Philadelphia, fentanyl crisis killing thousands of people in our state. And he's done nothing. And, and you're absolutely right. We are neck and neck, according to President Houston, uh, within the margin of error. Uh, they're not measuring, of course, you know, how, how much, how high will our turnout be, how enthusiastic, very good, by the way. Uh, we've been campaigning in Democrat areas the past couple of weeks there. We get record crowds in Democrat strongholds on a talking red county. So we're, we're very, very uh, hopeful, but we got a lot of work to do. Um, we did see with these uh, these polls by Rasmussen and others that they have the independents are undecided breaking for me, or they'll likely break for me because they're working class people. Well, and of course, that's really important because Pennsylvania... I mean, you look at the at the natural resources, and that was maybe one of the most startling things. Not Fetterman's inability to communicate clearly or competently. That was hard to watch. And, and I'm not going to take shots about that. I dealt with my own mother having a stroke, and I have empathy for that. But if you're not equipped to do the job, the Democrats should have done something different. They should have put uh, somebody else on the ballot. They didn't do that. So here's where we are. But more importantly, the biggest problem with the debate for Fetterman on Tuesday was the fact that he said, I've always supported fracking. Pennsylvania needs fracking. Pennsylvania has energy. Pennsylvania has the cleanest natural gas in the world, 41% cleaner than that that is sold by Russia, for example. And for Fetterman now to switch gears and say, oh, I'm all for it, you know better. Shapiro wasn't for fracking. None of these people are for energy. You have to be an energy candidate this year in, in Pennsylvania, don't you? You absolutely do. And uh, I, I'll tell you what, so maybe Fetterman Shapiro for, for fracking, but with, with heavy, severe restrictions and limitations that driving our industry physically today out of the state to Texas and Ohio and West Virginia, where there's, of course, pro-energy policy. So they're not really for fracking. That, that's a bunch of nonsense. If, if you want a continuation of failed energy policies that are driving our prices up, our prices for energy in state as the third greatest energy producer in the nation got, went up almost uh, double this, this past summer because of this compact that Wolf here has signed us up for for a carbon tax. So on day one of my administration, we are out of the greenhouse gas initiative. And you should see in the middle of winter a, a great savings energy wise by at least 40 percent of, of your energy costs. And then, of course, we're going to sure. open up state lands. We're going to drill and dig. I mean, we're really going to go after that. Well, you should. You've got the Marcella Shale. You've got it all right there. And think about how prosperous Pennsylvania could be in states around you if we were selling LNG to Europe right now instead of the Russians getting involved. I mean, we're selling a lot of LNG right now. We're exporting plenty. But if we were able to sell more, if we were set up to do it, Pennsylvania would be thriving right now, not suffering with 8% inflation and unemployment problems and jobs that can't get the bills paid, right? We wouldn't have those problems if we embraced energy the way Donald Trump did, that's a fact, and the way that you're going to when elected governor. I'll give you the last word. Yeah, as governor, we are going to open up our energy sector. My goal is to become the number one energy producer and exporter in the nation. A lofty goal, but we will be able to achieve it. Uh, we'll need some infrastructure uh, to do that. Looking at a pipeline to Philadelphia, to Delaware Bay, so we can export it to our allies over in Europe, as you greatly said, to the Baltic nation, Poland, to Germany, which is spending $2 billion a month on Russian oil and gas. We could, we'll take their euros. Uh, the second pipeline to Erie, I mean, it's going to be amazing. And this is going to create an economic renaissance in Pennsylvania, prosperity. We're going to drive down inflation and energy costs. We're going to be open for business here. And it's going to be a life changing moment in time for our nation, led by Pennsylvania.